behave when they come, you know, don't we? Good there luck is... with that. Yes, well, uh, we, uh... here to help us with that will be etiquette expert William Hansen. No, he's not he's gonna... in again. Is yes, it? I'm afraid he's got to he's gotta help because the, this He's going to tell me off. Every time he comes here, he tells me off. <laughs> don't do this, don't do that. <laughs> He'll be here in a bit. Here to bring us up to speed is our resident etiquette expert, William Hansen. <laughs> How do you do? How do you do? He always gets so nervous when you're coming on because he's. I've been nervous all day. As soon as I see your name, I freak out. It's like it's like the headmaster's here or something like that. Very natty belt you're wearing there, Jean. A natty belt. I love it. What's wrong with my belt now? It's natty. Have you kept the receipt? Very nice, very, very formal. Very, very good. Thank you very much. Well, you've made an effort as well, Gina, <laughs> haven't you? Don't, don't start on me because I only found out this morning that I was getting married. <laughs> so I didn't have the chance to go and buy the stuff. So it's right. not a shotgun wedding, though, is it? Because <laughs> that this would be. This is casual. Disaster. We need to relax. So, well, you, you can't get more relaxed than that. Can you? <laughs> talk about, talk us through the, the tails. They're classic wedding attire, are classic they? Classic wedding attire. This is what was worn by the guests to the royal wedding in 2011. It's called morning dress, not a morning suit, right. as some people call it, because it's not a suit, because it doesn't. No, there's nothing matching. Right. So it's morning dress, not a morning suit. OK, well, it uh. looks fabulous on you. All right, um, so uh, how far... Uh, no, don't do Little that. Not speeches yet. Is it, no, <laughs> or for the kiss. In Italy, we bang the glass when we want a kiss. Well, welcome to Britain. Put that down. <laughs> This is going to be one boring <laughs> wedding, I'm telling you right now. So how far does the concept of marriage date? Well, we think that the first recorded wedding was in t was 2350 BC in Mesopotamia, which is Iraq nowadays. Right. And traditionally, I mean, back then, thousands of years ago, marriage wasn't actually anything to do with religion or love. So at least Katie Price's weddings are historically accurate. <laughs> That's why he's back. <laughs> now, is it all right to say Happy Christmas? Some people are funny about it, because it, is it Merry Christmas you're supposed to say? Technically, it's Merry Christmas, and right. in the very first Christmas card in the 1800s, it was Merry Christmas. Right. What I can't stand, however, is this Xmas nonsense, because Xmas <laughs> makes it sound like a skin complaint. <laughs> so so I must admit, I never write Xmas. I, I do. Think. Do you? Yeah. No. Because I can't spell Christum. So I just. Well, they the say X. it takes quite Christ out of Christmas. Exactly. Yes. yes. And, it, and it is a religious festival. Yes. Oh. So what are the origins? Nice jumper. <laughs> What's <Well, laughs> not? <laughs> <gasps> It like looks like you've got a lot of medals yes. there. Yes. Yes, well, it's medals for coping with you, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Between you and me, I hate when he comes <laughs> How do you actually... Say you've got, you've got noodle soup yep. here. What... How do you eat that? Ooh, <laughs> you're quick. Very good. You need to do it. Very good. them flies with it, I'll be impressed. Very good, but let's not today. <laughs> let's, just, let's just have it there. You can do that later. You can call me Mr Miyagi from now on. <laughs> It's a lot better than what I could call you. <laughs> so, <laughs> unbelievable. Why don't we invite him oh, here? And then he's our friend. friend. We have he's our friend. Yet. OK, so how do we eat this? A so noodle soup, do you just... Do you pick the you bowl You can actually mouth? pick up the oh. bowl. And this is why the British aren't particularly very good with chopsticks, because, you see, in Britain, our plate stays on the table yeah. and we bring the food to us. Mm -hmm. In China, you sort of meet in the middle, so you can lift things up and then have a go at... Ah, so there is no problem about doing this? You no. know, with the head down? No problem at all. Oh, wow. It's like in yeah. Italy, though, you don't you just stick your head in your pasta a bit? Yes. You don't right, raise it all the way up here all the time, yeah? Oh, yes. Now, <laughs> you slurp there. Now, in Britain, we wouldn't slurp, actually, but in, in China, it, it is... Uh, you are more aware of, of some of the interesting uh, noises. It. So, yes, it's, China's the country for you, really. Um, so... <laughs> <laughs> no mobile phones. No phones I either take on a dick. Yeah, that's what about if my mum calls? Uh, super no, <laughs> um, You're on the dick. You need to concentrate on Marianne. Marianne. <laughs> OK. okay. Ever acceptable for a woman to ask a man on a date? Yeah, now in, in 2013 it's fine, and a man shouldn't. Oh, they've, they've started already. Oh, it's getting sexy over there. Look Can at you that. two just carry on and talk? Okay, Can yeah, I go with Marianne on my date? 
Um, yeah, it's fine. In, in, it's it's fine. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. so. I think if you if you see some, you've got to go and get it, haven't you? Exactly. It's yeah. modern, modern times. Modern times. Yeah. So where should you go on a first date? Well, in the, to a restaurant just like ours today. Although if you're not sure about the date, perhaps you could go for an afternoon coffee somewhere because it's shorter. Yes. Whereas a, a meal, especially if it's in a nice restaurant like this, it might go on for a couple of hours. All right then. So how do you think they're getting on over there? Is well, he's got his elbows on right? the table, which isn't great, is it? <laughs> um, but, and, now, and also, he's leaning back, which probably means he's not interested. He needs to lean forward slightly <laughs> if he wants to actually, uh, you know... Yeah, but I wanted to play a big call, man. I don't want to, you know... <laughs> let me do my thing. Yeah, what do you do for a living? For a living? I teach people uh, uh, etiquette manners. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I go around the world. I go around the world and teach people how You're... to behave uh, themselves. OK. Yes. yes. <laughs> and shut up. <laughs> how to behave themselves. Yes. Uh, it's Christmas. <laughs> it's not Christmas. I'm not, so sorry. Not quite like Christmas. Oh, okay. Can I kiss no, you? No, you can't no, bow. No, no, no. There we go. <laughs> good. And, and curtsy. Hello. Oh, curtsy. curtsy. Hello. Very hello. good. Which one goes which? I don't know which uh, one. Champagne for, for everybody else, but the Her Majesty likes a gin and a bonnet, and Harry and William like a cider. Okay. Which... Do they like this? This is for yes. you. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, the champagne and is for the champagne. girls. Yes, and then uh, the cider for I the two I love that they like yes. cider. That's quite cool, isn't it? And I'm very pleased to see that the cider has actually been put in a glass, not out of the bottle. Oh, yes. Yeah. This is for you. What happens if you're a smoker? Can this you smoke you, at, the, at Sandringham? Yeah. Yeah. No smoking, but you have to go this outside to do that. You have to go. Yeah, I think still, they have to go outside. <laughs> and what Absolutely. time do they call it a night? Do they get, like, right this on it? This is for me. Do they get what? I'm going right to on it. Is that a Manchester phrase? Yeah, because I say, I'm relaxing. What you would... And, uh... Very good. Bow, no. Ciao, Bella. No, no, no! No, no, no. no, no. no I'm so sorry. So Bow from the neck. From the neck. Bow. There right, we go. Yeah. Oh, right. Excellent. <laughs> I'm just going to stand. Uh, I'm all right to sit down? Yeah, you can yeah. sit down now, Gino, okay. yes. Preferably over there. <laughs> so, Kate, how was the birth? The easiest ever. <laughs> And how was the first night? That first night is quite scary, isn't it? When you take your baby home. We did all right. Yeah. You were all right? Yeah. We did well, yes. Yeah. Listen, you can breastfeed. I don't mind. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> you know, I don't want you to stop during the... Go, go. I'm so sorry. I'm so can, sorry. Can we have a look at the baby? Yeah. Let's have a look. No. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that is scary. Oh, what, a, what a beautiful baby. <laughs> The soup spoon is this one on the on oh, the outside. Flip. Oh, I got that right. Yes. Oh no, well mine, done. mine's tucked under his bread. Don't blame me. All right, fine. So and we soup, scoop yes. away from no scoop away. Yeah, I did know that actually, but it's the right faff, isn't it? When you put it away from yourself, well, why no, do we do it? Because soup spoons in the days of Downton Abbey used to be huge. What we would call a tablespoon now, and okay. you couldn't actually put it into your mouth like that. So you had to consume it that Ice. way. Oh my! Oh my word! No, <laughs> no. <laughs> What's happening now? Well, you're. <laughs> You're having sauce with steak there, as opposed to the other way around. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's... Well, that's the way I like it. Yeah, well, actually, uh, how do you say? Um, uh, excuse me. Your, excuse me. Yes. Let's, uh, ketchup. <laughs> Just in case, I like a little bit of ketchup I... on the side. Well, with your bernays? Are you serious? Yeah, because I like the ketchup with the mashed potatoes. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got my own thing. Actually, you want some ketchup? You. Like when you're having no, no, thank you no? very much. When you're no. having soup and you want to have a break. Yes. You do you leave the spoon in the bowl? Yes, or if there was a base plate underneath, you'd put it you'd on the base plate. You'd put it on plate. the base yes. plate, right. OK, yes. fine. Now, really, if, if you are going to have any sauce like that, uh, like ketchup, that needs to be in a little ramekin. What are we doing? So... No, like, no, no. How, if, if, <laughs> let's, let's so you're not allowed to use a spoon to eat no. your peas? How are you no. supposed to eat peas? Right, this is how we eat peas, OK, with our no, knife. No, first of all, the spoon is much easier because it goes into the spoon and you shovel in. Don't talk with your mouth, please. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. Close your mouth. Thank you when we're talking. <laughs> then... Why do we get this guy? He makes me panic. <laughs> I know exactly how to eat. <laughs> then we push the peas onto... With the back of our knife, we push them on and eat like so. Really? What we do not do is then do this, because our elbows thing. go out, we hit the person we're sitting next to, okay. it looks inelegant. The fork always has to be with the tines facing downwards. Right, okay. So by the time you finish the peas, my steak is cold, <laughs> the mashed potato is going to be freezing no, cold, because you know, one by one, the way you do it. No, because also, in this instance, you've got the mashed potato, so you could use that as a bit oh, of glue. Oh, like glue, yes, to that's get them a bit on. good. So you don't have to do it that way if what? you don't have mashed potato. Very good. Okay. I know. Okay. I like it. William Hansen, everybody!